Now, for some, living on a canal boat is an opportunity to live life at a slower pace. But for others, it's a way to escape rising property prices. With more and more houseboats on our waterways, the Canal and River Trust is asking anyone thinking of swapping bricks for boating to think carefully before considering a life on the river. Breakfast Tim Muffet reports. The Trent and Mersey Canal in Staffordshire, where Kerry and Pete have a lot of work. When it comes to boat sinking, we're definitely getting busier. They run River Canal Rescue, helping boat owners in trouble, teaching canal users basic rules, which to their exasperation, many are unaware of. You drive on the right-hand side when you're passing another boat, so it's port to port, left to left. These are metal boats. They rust in the water. If you don't take it out of the water and treat it, it's just going to rot away to nothing until the boat sinks. After years of neglect, many canals are busy once more. And those who look after them say that canal users, especially those new to all this, need to ensure they know what they're doing. Well, one of the issues that we have is the sheer popularity of the canals means that they're used by more and more people. The Canal and River Trust manages 2,000 miles of waterways in England and Wales, from the dangerous misuse of locks to the dumping of human waste the boom in canal use has many downsides. Well, what we've got here is two wide beam boats moored next to each other. So that's effectively quadruple mooring. What that does, it, it narrows a navigable channel and causes an obstruction for other craft trying to pass by. The Trust records incidents when it can, but in London, where problems are most severe, it's a huge task. Boat numbers here have risen by 72% since 2012 to more than 4,000. The majority of boat owners in London have what are known as continuous cruiser licences. They don't need to pay for a permanent mooring, but the boats can't stay in the same place for more than 14 days. Just moved out of a flat in Brixton because I can't afford to live there anymore and hey, oh, there's a boat. Nick is typical of many new to the canals, attracted by a lower cost of living. Not particularly comfortable at all. We don't have a toilet on board, we don't have a shower. And at the moment, because the motor is broken, we don't have any electricity, so there's no power. But you're preferring it to paying a lot of money on rent in a flat? For the moment, yeah. Nick and his friends stress they are responsible canal users, but they'll soon need to move on from this spot and find another, which won't be easy. Sarah Emmings manages a private mooring site and believes many canal newcomers haven't thought things through. It's not their fault, because there is nothing in place to say, right, you need to know this before you put a boat on the water. And you only learn it as you're going along. It's baptism by fire. Three quarters of the boats moored in the capital are now being lived in, according to the Canal River A truck built to carry goods buckling under pressure from people. Tim Muffet, BBC News.